we had practiced and we had exercised for hurricanes for forever, but nothing like Ike. You know, the city of uh, Galveston as a whole um, was just inundated. We haven't had really a storm of this caliber since Carla back in 61. They were devastated. Uh, you know, they had the storm long before Ike even really hit land. The emotional atmosphere was questioning, uncertainty of the future. There was this overwhelming sense of needing to obviously repair our property, but also put together and repair the sense of community that we all had. Emotions were raw, people were tired. Uh, it was a very stressful environment. City leadership, UTMB leadership, Dr. Callender, level heads prevailed and we, uh, we worked through any situations that came up, but uh, it was a very stressful trying time for sure. Dr. Callender's leadership, along with a lot of other people, certainly proved to be very important, especially when you're talking about the largest employer in Galveston County. Dr. Callender was having to deal with the community here at home. At the same time, he had to navigate through both the UT system and the UT Board of Regents in gathering and garnering their eventual support and then bring that back home and get the community and the faculty and the workers to all buy in. He put together the top three people that were did a phenomenal job and, um, and moved us on. And so now we jump ahead seven years later and UTMB is thriving in part, in really large part, uh, from the expansion to the mainland. In League City's case, you know, they knew that League City was growing. People were having to go back and forth from the island uh, to, to League City for services. So, you know, they had that vision, specifically Dr. Callender, to buy, you know, a 60-acre track in, Vic in the Victory Lakes area uh, to start building a facility for people on the mainland. UTMB was like uh, rebuilding an airplane in flight. And Dr. Callender's personality, his steady, measured, methodical approach to everything he does was exactly what UTMB needed. And uh, we're very fortunate that he was here to guide not only UTMB through the process, but also the community. The importance of UTMB to our county and region-wide um, economy uh, is almost immeasurable. Just Not just from the people that get paychecks and go back to their communities, but the stature it gives us, the national claim from the national lab, and, and the intangibles of having a major institution that's recognized not only nationwide, but worldwide. Having a, a hospital like that in your backyard, uh, having good uh, professional medical care, plus being able to educate young people and doing the kind of research they do is invaluable to not only uh, Galveston County, the state of Texas, but really the nation. Four billion dollars in spending throughout the state of Texas, of which two billion dollars of that is in the county. 15,000 jobs and the overwhelming majority of those 15,000 people live throughout Galveston County. And in addition to that, there are over 70 various clinics located at over 40 locations throughout the county. Obviously a major economic engine. League City now is approaching uh, 100,000 people, we'll probably reach that by next year. And there, we didn't have a hospital as such in League City property. For any of our residents to get that medical um, care, they'd have to go you know, any numerous different, either north or south or to the east to get services. So from UTMB, putting a facility here right in League City, you know, put in about a $90 million expansion that's gonna open up here in the next several months. So it's a big win for the city of League City. You, you can't begin to, to fully comprehend all the, the economic impacts that UTMB bring to not only Galveston, but certainly this entire region. They've anchored themselves in Galveston County not just the island with what they're doing here, but with their clinics and their uh, support services across the mainland part of our county. You know, they've, they've anchored themselves here, which is a good thing for us. Well, I think uh, Dr. Callender, as well as the system and, and the whole support staff, uh, deserve a great deal of credit and appreciation for all they've done, especially since Hurricane I. I know that it's still an evolving process trying to build a hospital while taking care of patients, 
trying to recruit new faculty while keeping the standards that we already had. And so for the tenure that you've had here in Galveston, I think we all you, uh, owe you a great deal of gratitude and appreciation. And uh, I'm proud to be a part of this message and hope you uh, enjoy the night. Without your leadership and uh, your guidance, along with all the people at UTMB, their hard work, uh, raising money, uh, being able to put the funding together to start this expansion and in encouraging the state to realize how important you are uh, asset to this state and to our nation uh, is just close to remarkable. Uh, you should be very proud of yourself, your company in general, and the young students that you're educating every day. And I just personally, as the mayor of Texas City, on behalf of the citizens, want to thank you and want to tell you how much we appreciate UTMB and all your efforts. UTMB is thriving. As part of this community, we will do whatever you need us to do to help continue that growth. As the mother of two physician sons who were graduates of UTMB, I personally thank you for your leadership and for the opportunity to provide them the most excellent education that I could think they could have received anywhere. Thank you. Um, just a personal message to you, Dr. Callender. I want to extend my sincere appreciation from myself and the council as a whole, from our city management and staff, for your vision to bring a high level of um, support and facilities to the League City area and provide services for our residents. I want to thank Dr. Callender for his vision, his long uh, approach to, to issues. Um, without his leadership, without his vision, UTMB would have probably contracted a little bit. But because of Dr. Callender and the staff and the leadership they have out there, uh, they took the aggressive approach and not only built back what they had, but they built back smarter, stronger, not only providing quality health care, employment, economic uh, engines, but also the, the research that they're doing. Uh, uh, what they're doing out there will change the world. I've been fortunate, uh, unfortunate enough, I guess, to have to use their facility uh, in recent months. Uh, I can't tell you from a personal perspective, I can't tell you how uh, with quality care, I got uh, compassion from their people, and uh, you know, it starts at the top, Dr. Calder and the department heads and the, the people that they have running the place. So we appreciate you. Sometimes we don't say it as often and as eloquently as we should, but we appreciate uh, the University of Texas Medical Branch here in Galveston County.